Hello dear learners, welcome to lecture 6. The title of this particular lecture is uh, related to the title of the earlier lesson. This is called visual aids for oral presentation. We are actually, it's an extension of that. So we are going into detail what exactly can be your modes, what exactly are the different types of visual aids you can use and what are the commonly used visual aids. So first slide here, some of the commonly used visual aids are the flip charts, overhead projector, what we call as OHPM, let me write this, and PowerPoint presentations, PP, PowerPoint presentation, PP slides. So uh, commonly used, uh, people have uh, this tendency to think that flip charts are no longer used, but uh, even now some of the leading trainers use flip charts. It's convenient in a way. At the same time, uh, you know, it saves on the time. Even if there is no power, there's a problem with the gadget. Flip charts are independent of all those uh, variables. Now, let us see what exactly are the flip charts are blank or prepared sheets of charts that are put up during a presentation as visual aids. They can be charts which are blank or already pre-written. So if, if you want to make it interactive and involve the students in this uh, blank charts, you can ask them to come and write something. You can draw something out on the blank charts. If there is a diagram or sequence of pictures to be projected, you can have a pre-prepared flip chart, as I said, a uh, sequence of images you would like to show. Sometimes uh, flip charts can also be used if you need audience participation, like bring in the blank one and ask them to come and write something. Like a blackboard, but more mobile, uh, more versatile. It can be used to generate ideas or quickly record the responses that can be later organized and ordered. Some of the guidelines while using the flip chart are one, Diagrams on the flip chart have to be clear and attractive. Colors are more effective when used on white rather than colored paper. So white background, use color pencils. That makes an effective uh, presentation. Two, matter on the flip chart has to be visible. So I need to write big to all the participants. People have to see that. So spacing between diagrams should be carefully arranged. These are very small but very important details. The nitty gritty of these are important. If possible, do not crowd more than one diagram in a single chart. Have separate charts for each diagram. If there are many charts, carry an appropriate box where all the charts can be kept. Always keep a spare pen in your pocket because sometimes pens can dry up. So you should not be caught clueless and you can't borrow nobody would from the audience unlikely that they're carrying is spare pen which is in color so this is uh, how it looks flip chart let me write here there's a flip chart stand and you can actually rotate and uh, sort of keep using many sheets as possible pull it from this side and it goes back side so you can have as many sheets as possible Next, we come to OHP, overhead projector. The OHP, like the flip chart, can be used in two ways. It can either be prepared in advance or written during the presentation as an alternative to using the flip chart. Like the writing in the flip chart, the transparency sheet, this is a very important sheet, has to be carefully prepared. Some of the factors to be kept in mind while making an OHP presentation are use transparencies to show only the important points. Do not crowd the transparency sheet with too many points on a single sheet. Do not switch on the light until the slide is in position and switch it off before you move it away. It's important because it consumes a lot of power and it's very bright. The OHP needs to be, uh, lights should be switched off and on at the right time. Line up the OHP before you start the presentation and keep it in the right position. You need to arrange that, it takes some time, but once uh, 
you uh, ensure that then you can start presenting your transparencies. Control the lighting effectively, make sure that it is not too bright or dim. Rehearse thoroughly so that you get used to placing and removing the uh, slides or the transparencies without any awkward movement. Take care not to stand between the projected picture and the audience. Take care to see that you use the right colors that are bright and aid clarity. Organize the information you have to give under main heads and subheads. Remember that the organization you give will help organize the matter in the participant's mind. How you organize has a telling effect on how the participant in his mind processes the information. So whether it is flip chart or OHP or any other visual aid, you need to organize the information clearly with a lot of spacing in between. This is an image of a OHP. Uh, you see the transparency sheets are put here, right here. And from this, the, there's a light here. And the image goes here, it gets reflected onto the wall. So when this image is being reflected, people should not stand here in between. And the audience is here. So it's a, a very innovative thing. Not uh, after the, the advent of PowerPoint uh, slide, uh, coming in the LCD technology, this has slightly gone on the minimal mode, but it is still a useful instrument or aid. Now we move on to the latest PowerPoint presentations. Most people are using this. Right now this presentation is being done by PP presentation. People these days um, sort of in a jocular fashion say um, many presentations if they are badly prepared they say there is only power there are no points or if you have points you need power also. Uh, it's a play on the word but PP presentations are going to stay here. Let's see what exactly they are. PP presentations today are the most frequently used for presentation. PowerPoints operate through slides and they have to be prepared very carefully. Sometimes they can make or mar a presentation. They can make or spoil a presentation. They lessen the flexibility of a presentation. But the impact they have can create a lot of interest, bring in variety and life into presentation. A lot of versatile presentation, it can be if one knows, if you know how to use a PowerPoint slide, you can bring in the audio visual, you can bring in the writing and bringing wonderful images because its resolution of the image, the writing is very clear and it's, um, very, it has got a big impact on the listeners and the viewers. If they go wrong, the slides, however, the effect can be anything between mild confusion to total catastrophe or disturbance. So they have to be used carefully with a lot of planning and expertise. So planning and expertise generally are essential for all presentations, more so for PowerPoint presentations. Some of the factors one has to keep in mind while doing PowerPoint slides are ensure that the slides are an integral part of the presentation. It should not be very, very separate from what you are presenting. It has to integrate well. Space these slides intelligently so that they come in at regular intervals but more frequently towards the end. It's a very good technique, strategy. Bring in the slides more at the end but in the beginning space them with a lot of margin. This will keep the interest alive. Think and plan of the most important point you want your audience to take back with them. Identify the slide or slides you must include and ensure that they are striking enough to remain in the mind. Very important point. You should pre-identify one or two slides which you can actually show them again. The slides which you think they should take back with them. Very important slides containing some important content there. 
Missing an important slide is as dangerous as including unnecessary ones. If you include unnecessary ones, it creates clumsiness. At the same time, if you miss out an important slide also, you are underutilizing the impact an LCD presentation, the PowerPoint presentation can create. LCD is the instrument through which PowerPoint presentations are made functional. LCD is a short form for liquid crystal display, liquid crystal display. So this is, I'll show you the picture of the LCD projector. This is what we use to convey our PowerPoint presentations. So plan out every slide carefully and thoughtfully. As much as possible, avoid a verbal slide that will have whole statements. This can spoil the readability. So what they can read in a, in a paper, that kind of a material should be avoided. They should preferably bulleted points, spaced out, uh, just important three or four points. That will have a better impact. Do not put into a slide what you will say. All people listen at more or less the same speed, but read at different speeds. This is a very uh, technical difference here. People listen more or less at the same speed when it comes to listening. So that is to the speaker's advantage. But reading is always at different speeds. So don't repeat whatever you have said again on the slide. To keep the audience together, thus it is necessary that they hear things together rather than read. So this is a point to be borne very well in mind. Follow a simple principle. Make your writing big enough and obvious because you always have uh, the font size at your command. You can always keep the letters big. Keep the matter words, charts, drawing, simple and clear. Use the colors where carefully. Always colored backgrounds are not more effective than plain white ones, like in this slide. Also, try to integrate the colors meaningfully. Every color has significance and understand it before using it. This particular slide has a white background. Against that, we have used some dark fonts. The size of the font is also big enough. So, if you follow a basic principle like this, your writing is conveyed, your images are conveyed quickly. This is the image of an LCD projector, which is the instrument through which you, your PowerPoint presentations are enabled. And finally, if you remember points, a picture is worth a thousand words. So as much as possible without overdoing it, balancing it out, use pictures because they are far more effective than thousand words. Like when you saw LCD projector, you knew what it is. Pictures save time. They bring in variety. They add impact. They remain in memory long after words have left. This is again an image of a typical presentation. Uh, you, this Obviously, this is a PowerPoint screen. So there's a PowerPoint that is somewhere in the rooftop here. From there, it is being projected onto the screen. And uh, I recommend these websites, some of them again deliberately, uh, for more information on this. Finally, before I end this lecture, let me tell you some of these presentation skills and uh, earlier lessons, some of them, uh, these soft skills are really like uh, important skills. They are often compared to the landing and the takeoff of a plane. Um, the pleasantness, the safety of your communication depends on how well you land, how well you take off. And these skills are also compared to a piece of leather, very soft, but very, very full of tenacity and flexibility. So acquire these skills and uh, make yourself more uh, uh, effective in your oral and written presentations. Thank you, learners.